What's crack a ladies? And gentlemen. Welcome back to Lake Street News. I'm Lily. And I'm Max. Tonight we've got stories about school lunch, two new restaurants, Cornell, crime, and more. This just in, ICSD announced Monday that all of its students will have free breakfast and lunch for the rest of the school year, starting in December. Federal programs offering free meals at school for the last few years expired in June, as COVID-19 measures also expired. ICSD Director of Child Nutrition, Beth Krause, said that, quote, we are thrilled that all students in the ICSD will now have access to nutritious and delicious food in school. Breaking news. The city of Ithaca has recently welcomed two new businesses to the downtown area, Midas Menagerie and Beautifully Carcuterie. Two consecutive rib ribbon cuttings were held for these businesses last Wednesday. Midas Menagerie, located in Press Bay Alley, offers a curated selection of vintage home decor. Beautifully Charcuterie, located on South Cayuga Street, is Ethical NY's first picnic and charcuterie company, which offers a, quote, new spin on catering, unquote. Huge news. Cornell graduate students voted in a landslide to unionize this week. Cornell graduate student United announced that 96% of votes cast support of the unionization. The successful union drive at Cornell comes after failed effort in 2017 and the university violating labor law in 2018. Joelle Molina, Cornell's vice president for university relations, told the Cornell Daily Sun, quote, we look forward to negotiating a collective bargaining agreement that reflects Cornell's values and addresses the needs of our students' union organizers. This will improve many different aspects of life for Cornell graduate students and workers. A stabbing incident from last month has resulted in charges for an ethical woman, Natasha Padron Martins, and has, was arrested and charged with second degree assault. He's currently in Tompkins County Jail. However, IPD says that no charges have been made in connection with the stabbing incident, but they say that the investigation is still ongoing. No further circumstances of the stabbing were disclosed at this time. A portion of South Main Street in Horseheads was blocked off Monday afternoon as local, state, and federal authorities continue to investigate and remove reported hazardous materials from the home of a man who's now in custody. Following the arrest, Michael Hillard, police executing a uh, search warrant, discovered hazardous materials after a highway employee found a suspected explosive device on Merca Road on November 6. Hillard is currently charged with one count of criminal possession of a weapon. Breaking news. Last week, Common Council member Tiffany Kumar found her car vandalized with a note left on the windshield that read, Resign, b Photos of Kumar's car show dents and scratches along its side. Kumar says, quote, it didn't look like it got keyed, it looked like someone took a brick to it or something." End quote. Council member Jorge Defendini posted a statement Friday on the social media platform Twitter. Actually, it's X. I don't care. <sighs> the statement condemned the note Kumar received, the damage note, the, and the damage done to her car. Defendini said that, quote, These actions are both disgusting and undemocratic. They do not speak for me, Kumar said. She was initially hesitant to file a police report, but is doing so in order to document the incident after consulting her colleagues on the council. Thank, Thank you, you for watching Lake Street, Street News, and, and have, have a good, good week. week. Words, <gasps> we're saying stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, uh Horge. Hor <laughs> Wait, did I say Horge? Horge?